In the last video, we created three views. We created a, uh, a 3D render or a 3D view based on a white model, one based on a color, and one based on a wireframe. Now, it's a pretty messy wireframe, but it's, it's fine for the representation of what we're doing at the moment. Now, we're going to import these into Photoshop as layers. We created those as TIFFs. So we're going to import these into Photoshop. Let's do this. Uh, the, we're going to import the biggest one first. Uh, so we use the color one in this case. And we're going to dump these on top of each other. When we import this, if we're doing it correctly, it will import in exactly the right place at exactly the right scale. If it doesn't, uh, we can move this around. I'll just do this now so you see what I mean. Place. And when we grab this and move it, it'll lock in. If you can't tell if that's over the right place, what you can also do is reduce the opacity and then you can sort of see as well it locks into place and we can see that it's representing the way that we want. We'll do the same with the wireframe. Drag and drop. Always a nice way of working. Place. Just we can do the same thing. It did already lock in the right place. We can reduce the opacity just to make sure it's in the right place if we're not sure. So now we've got all three layers. Like I said, uh, Photoshop has layers, Archicad has layers. They're different things, uh, sort of work in the same way. So we've got three different drawings. What I'll generally do is multiply the bottom one. Layer, new, layer by copy. And we could place that over the top just to keep it real simple. Now, these are all rastered images. They are rasters out of ArchiCAD and they're as TIFFs and they're rasters, meaning they're pixels, in Photoshop. So if we zoom in, we see that it's pretty grainy, it's pretty pixelated. And there's not a lot of way that we can export it out of ArchiCAD using this method to make that better. And that's why we're creating the 3D document. The 3D document allows us to create a vector-based drawing. Now, unfortunately, when we're importing that into Photoshop, we're still creating a raster, but the quality, quality of it is much higher because we can choose how pixelated or how many pixels we import. There is a few ways we can edit this here. We can clean this up if, if necessary. One of the ways we can do that is just to add more pixels. So we can go to Image, canvas size or image size and increase the resolution. So instead of being 72, we're going to make this 300. The problem with this approach is it's going to make the file size much bigger, but that's sort of what we want to do. We just have to be okay with the fact that it's going to slow down the file. Now, you'll note that the, immediately it looks clearer. We've gotten rid of some of that pixel, pixelization, pixelation. Um, we've got more pixels. It still isn't really ni nice and neat, uh, but it's a lot better than it was before just by adding more pixels to our view. We can add a filter, sharpen, unsharpen mask, or something like these, one of these sharpen tools to be able to get rid of some of that as well and to make it clearer if we want to. We'll look at that later. Uh, but at the moment we're creating what we want. Now the general gist of what we're doing is we can now choose to blur what we're seeing in some ways. Uh, so we've got multiple layers. We can reduce the opacity and we can see that we're getting the bleeding through of those layers in different ways. So we can choose how much of each representation we want to see. At the moment we're just um, reducing the opacity overall. In a, in a later video, we'll look at how we can reduce opacity in particular areas. So we're going to add transparent masks to be able to blur or remove color from some areas rather than from others. So I don't want much of that um, wireframe. The wireframe is really difficult and messy, so I only want a little bit of that. We want a fair bit of the white model, so we're going to increase the density or reduce the, or increase the opacity of that. So we're getting a little bit of color coming through. So we're already starting to create a bit of a complex layer combination, layers in Photoshop. And of course, once we've done this, we'll save this 
as, as a TIFF file or a Photoshop file, PSD, to be able to edit this further. And we're starting to create our render. Now we're going to drop in more layers and more masks. We're going to try not to edit these particular views but use masks to edit them. And that way, even though we can't necessarily update these from Archicad, we can re-import the file, re-import the image, and just replace it one for one without um, destroying the work that we're going to do in Photoshop. So this is the first part of the, our Photoshop rendering technique and we'll have a few others after this that explaining some simple ways to create some interesting visualizations um, in Photoshop.